and welcome to this new tutorial. Sorry, it's been a while. I had computer issues. So here we go. This is gonna be what we're gonna see. It's like this smooth text that's like popping out. First, of course, we're gonna need title clips. So project, add title clip. I'm just gonna center it quickly. I'm using Awesome Source as a font and it, I made it quite big. Create as all, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to write me. So to animate text like that, you pretty much have two options. You can either use transform or composite and transform, and it might depend on how you do it. So I'm gonna show you two end results and two methods. So if it's just simple, like, one word you can do it with just transform like i'm going to show you oh i'm also going to make a color clip to put in the background uh, you might notice i have a lot of tracks i'm going to need this many so i just already have them but if you want to add more just right click on any track and insert track and then you can choose lots of stuff here so in my case we have what I want it to be quite short, maybe around like two seconds. And I'm gonna add a transform effect. So you can just look for it here, write transform and it will show up. And I'm gonna make it zoom in. So it's gonna actually take a while to zoom in. So like this sounds, this looks good for me. So at the end, the size is gonna be 100% and at the beginning, it's gonna be 1%. But even if you use smooth, it's still not really smooth. Um, so I'm gonna add another keyframe in the middle here, and I'm gonna make it way bigger at this point, like almost 90% or something like this. So now it goes fast and then it mo stops moving. I just realized we have a centering problem for this track, for this, sorry, not track, uh, keyframe. And here all is good. And at the end, I want it to leave to the left while me appears. So I'm gonna go three frames before the, the, the end. That's what I noticed was good. You don't have to do it like this. You can choose whatever you want, of course. And at the last keyframe, I'm gonna shove it to the left. And I'm also gonna reduce the opacity to like, well, not like to 0%. And then I'm gonna drag my me. It's gonna be here. It's gonna be way shorter, maybe like this. And I've not, so I chose to have four frames of overlay because it disappears at the last one. So yeah, that's what I found was good. You can also experiment with this, of course. So I'm also going to add transform to this clip. And at the third keyframe right here, it's going to be centered. But at the first keyframe, I'm going to make sure it's smooth and I'm going to shove it to the right this time. So it kind of overlays with the other, but not, not too much. And I'm also gonna reduce the rotation, but not uh, not the rotation, the opacity, but not to zero, to like, yeah, 40% or so. And now it will show up. I'm also gonna add a keyframe at the end, because uh, I want it to move out of the way. So also three frames before the end, here. This one will not move, and the last one, uh, it's gonna move a bit to the lower left. So let's see what we have now. What? Me? That's nice. It's almost too long, the what maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna shorten it just a little bit. Okay, so then we have the second method and it depends on what you want to write. You so at the beginning it's like a sentence so i'm gonna write what do you mean project at title clips what do i'll t to make a new one you mean because i want everything to be aligned so i'm not going to show the background and you can see that you mean is longer than what do so i'm just going to make you mean smaller so that it fits with the what do like this i like it i'm just going to center and then this one is going to be roughly centered as well. Create title. And I want each word to show up uh, separately. So you could do it either with rotoscoping, which I do sometimes. Uh, in this case, I decided to just duplicate it and remove the parts that I don't want. So right click, duplicate clip, 
and I'm going to do it three times so that I have four of them total. I'm going to go back on the first one and just keep the what? And the mean, you mean goodbye. And on the second one, I'm just going to keep the do. So one thing, if, if you remove this, it's going to move to the right, of course. So you can just uh, move it to the other side by moving this to make sure it's still aligned with the what that's on the other clip so i didn't want to move it with my hand although i could have remembered this number here but you know i think like this is good update title well i need to remove the u in update title on this one i'm just gonna keep the u and on the last one only the mean yeah i could just 529 i think yeah and you goodbye I'm gonna add a title clip with a question mark. So I'm just gonna actually drag all of these to my timeline so that I can see what it looks like. So right now, if I go here, I should have the full thing, yeah. Project add title clip. Show background, and now I can add a question mark. I want it way bigger. And I'm also going to add some rotation to it so that it kind of fits with the side even more rotated like this and a bit bigger. Okay, and I'm going to move it here. I like it like this. So create title and I'll take care of it. Well, actually, I can just drag it here now. And I'm also going to add a weird one. It's an empty title clip. So add title clip and just say create title. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the title clip at the very beginning because it's gonna allow us to move all of the other clips at the same time afterwards. So I'm just gonna put it under here. Uh, the whole thing might be a bit longer like this, probably. We'll see. Um, and we're gonna start working on the what. So the what is gonna um, come from the side, kinda. So I'm gonna add a transition by clicking in the corner and choosing Composite and Transform. Here we have it. I want some rotation to it as well, so I'm just going to change it here. Uh, minus 9, that looks good. Okay, it looks a bit long actually. I'm going to shorten it just a bit because I don't want it to be too long. Because this is going to be quite dynamic, you know? So you don't want it to take forever. So I'm going to go to the fourth frame. I think it's this one. And this one is going to be the final one, so at the first one, Make sure it's smooth and move it a bit to the upper right with zero opacity. And also I want a slight zoom, so maybe like 80% at the first frame. And then it's gonna come what? Yep, that's nice. Although it's not smooth like I wanted, so I'm gonna add a keyframe at the third, third keyframe and move it to the middle. So then I don't have to choose myself how it is. So that looks good for me, and I'm now gonna move all of the other clips so that it's nice. I'm gonna move them two frames after the previous one every time. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna shorten them all to be the same length as the bottom one. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste this uh, composite and transform transition. So Control C, Control V. You want to make sure that it is on V1 for all of them, which is your empty title clip right now. And then you can just shorten them. Okay, so let's see what we have now that everything has their composite transform transition. That's not bad, honestly. What do you mean? I like it, but uh, I need it to go away at the end and it's kind of too static. So this is something I should have done before, but I'm just going to add a keyframe to the end of every single one. So this will like complete the curve of the smooth uh, composition transform. And so it will make it move a little bit between the two last keyframes. So it's better. So at the end, I want all of the clips to move at the same time, and that's why I used an empty title clip at the bottom. I'm also going to add a composite transform transition to this one. And what I'm actually going to do is two things. First, at the end, like three frames before the end, so one, two, 
free here. I'm just gonna add my end keyframe and everything is good, normal keyframe. And the first one, I'm gonna make it smooth and go I'm gonna make it smaller. Not much, like 95%, but it will give it a bit of movement, you know, to the whole thing. And at the end, the last, the real last keyframe, I will move it to like this direction and I'm gonna make sure it's on V1 and I just realized everything should not be on V1 but on V2. Sorry about that, I will probably add it in the as a thingy on the screen, you know. So now everything moves with the with this bottom one. So yeah, at the end it will move to the bottom left kinda and become transparent. And I'm just gonna use the same me as the first time I think here. So control C Control V with four keyframes overlay and see if that works. It might be a bit too much in the middle at the beginning, so I'm just gonna move it a bit to the, like, like here. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty cool. There's a problem with the what at one point, but maybe it was just, yeah, it was just uh, lagging on my computer. Okay, so everything is good. Okay, well, I hope you like it. This is the end. Please, if you liked it, comment, like, subscribe. There's some of these like every week. Maybe sometimes multiple times a week when I'm available to do them, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, bye-bye. Uh, I'll see you later.